La Nina is the cold water phase of a large climate pattern called the El Nino Southern Oscillation, the most influential climate pattern used in seasonal forecasting. Seeing La Nina develop helps predict climate throughout the United States months into the future. During La Nina, the ocean temperatures in the tropical Pacific will begin to cool about Fahrenheit below average. When that starts to happen, there's a cascade of impacts across the tropical Pacific. The expanded pool of cooler than normal water shifts the normal thunderstorm activity westward from the central Pacific toward Indonesia, where waters are warmer than average. Strong thunderstorm activity pumps heat and moisture into the upper atmosphere, disturbing global circulation patterns. The jet stream, which is a river of air moving from west to east, begins to pull back or retract toward Asia. Downstream of that, over the Pacific Ocean and North America, there are pronounced changes in the circulation. Over the Gulf of Alaska, there tends to be higher than average pressures with lower than average pressures over the western part of North America. Downstream, over the southeast, there are often higher than average pressures. This type of influence from one region to another over large parts of the globe is referred to as a teleconnection. Americans are interested in La Nina because of impacts over the United States. In general, La Nina leads to more cold air outbreaks over the northern tier, while it tends to be warmer and drier than average across the southern tier. The Pacific Northwest and the Ohio-Tennessee Valley are often wetter than average. La Niñas can last longer than El Niño, in fact, out to three years. During a La Niña, the influence of the ocean on the atmosphere is steady and changes slowly. That's why climatologists are able to make predictions months in advance. From NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, I'm Ned Gardner.